Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm John. What's going on, everybody? I'm Steve. I'm ready to watch this. Now. All right. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and cut. <laughs> what was, uh, I'm drawing a blank. What was the last one? Uh, when they were the, the couple, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. That no. was the last one. Uh, the last one was uh, the Ella one with her brother. Oh, the yeah. Diamonds. Yep. That's right. That's definitely what it was. Poor Elle. Both of her brothers are kind of scumbags, right? Wasn't the other one like no, he into some a, shady shit? Yeah, but he wasn't like a scum. I wouldn't. I don't think he was a scumbag. And this one wasn't either. He was just well, definitely trying not to make some money. Definitely not anymore after Lucifer flashed in the eyes real quick. Yeah. Which is going to be interesting. Like, I wonder if he's going to tell. Is she eventually going to find out that he like you know, looked down the like line the real some point? Devil? No, I'm saying like. Well, that he did that. Well, Ella find out that he actually kept the diamonds. Probably. Because he said he's not going to say anything cause just because he doesn't want to mess her up. You know? That's true. Cause yeah, she's things, clever. She might find out. Or, yeah, or if just somebody, like, confesses it to her, like, for whatever reason. It definitely won't be Lucifer. <laughs> no. You know that. He's a man of his word. <laughs> yeah. He's not a fraud, as he likes to point out. <laughs> um, and then I'm wondering if we're going to get back... We also kind of figured out, I feel like, that, or at least Lucifer did, the way like, he has a good idea now on how to kill Cain. Well, like, he has to, he's been trying so hard not to get close to people because he thinks that, That's you know, an idea. That's a theory. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think that's... You think that's what it's going to well, be? Well, that's where he, I think he thinks at this point. That's what he thinks, Yeah. But he's still chopping them up into pieces, right? Didn't he still go get the chainsaw? Well, at the yeah. end of it? Well, that was a couple episodes ago. Was it? Yeah. I think that was like 13 or something like that. Mm. But then, because I remember the last one, he fought uh, the Menadil. Oh, yeah. And he thinks Menadil can do something because he's the one who put the mark on him. That's right. And the Menadil won't. Yeah, which we know. Jeez. <laughs> um... Yeah, that was, that's interesting. <laughs> I just realized in the episode's title is High School Poppycock. <laughs> yeah. I can't even imagine what that's going to play into. <laughs> he's going to call some... He's obviously... He's going to call some high school like Poppycock or yeah, something. It's, no, it's going to be like... It's... Yeah. Uh, who knows? It's, it's like high school nonsense. <laughs> that's what he's saying. He... So, he I know he's usually the one that... Most of the time that says the For title. the most part, yeah. I think Chloe has a couple times. Yeah, it's, and I think even Linda has once or twice. Yeah. Let's just watch. Okay. <laughs> you guys want to watch the next episode early, go check out our Patreon. We have that there as well as full length. Lucifer? It's creeping me Lucifer. out. Lucifer! But we have a case. Something's happened. Please leave. But what's happened? Is like a dream or something? I can't... I can't control them. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. Maybe this is him having this dream? Yeah, I think it is. And then I woke up. Yeah. Hmm. And it's not the sort of dream I'm used to. It's strange that it's him having a dream. Who knows what else it'll take from me? Lux? Hmm. Job with the LAPD? Oh, Chloe. Mm -hmm. well, thank you, Doctor, for being completely unhelpful today. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you could do. It's Take a probably a very, like, every time he leaves, yeah. it's probably the same reaction. <sighs> Chloe. I mean, don't you ever miss just having stupid fun like when you were a kid? <laughs> she pulls like that blue hair off. Grown -up kid, they actually. both pull it off. <laughs> I know. They're awfully quiet. It's freaking this her out. This is the longest you've ever gone without talking. Ever. I know what you guys are thinking. She's a synthetic. <laughs> Aliens. The android who bled white. <laughs> no one? Really? Never mind. Bunch of lame That's melted ice cream. You know what she's talking about? Like yeah. Well, movie time. Alien. Oh. Yes, and what? That's the name of the technique. 
Right. I've heard you talk about it before, but I don't actually understand what it means. <laughs> well, you agree with whatever's being said? Yes. There's only ever one hard copy since she does all her writing on that typewriter. Yes, and all her dying on that typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know anyone who would have done this to her? What is with all this yes and stuff? That is some improv thing I was hoping would knock me out of my idea dry spell. But you're literally just saying what you would normally say? <laughs> After you. Yes, yeah. and in front of it. Yeah. Yes, and it's clearly not working. This is stupid, Daniel. <laughs> I did dry spell. Like it's Dan's like fault. What this afterward could explain how to overcome my own form of writer's block. What? We need to find it. The killer. You mean we need to find the killer? Yeah, and then he tries to figure so the case out. Book. Just as well as yeah, it, yeah, his so it problem. Could benefit him. Yeah, every time. <laughs> It's it is kind of cool that like the writers like come kind up with, always tie it in. come up with a case and then also like not only just coming up with the case itself is cool but like adding it into his story you have to match it every time. These last few weeks have been absolutely incredible. Wow, you really good at this sweet. They're both just ignoring the whole maze in the room. I know I don't like that. Are we being cowards? Yes. <laughs> but Linda, it's maze. <laughs> I would do anything for you. <laughs> but is that too savvy? No, a little bit. Yes, but no. To me, it is. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> I'm saying from her point of view. Yeah. It's possible. Well, let's hope so, because I need to find that book. Killer. The book killer. <laughs> I know you mean book. I did. <laughs> <laughs> she just accepts it for that. Yeah, too, I yeah. Uh, is Maze here? Sorry. No. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. Why don't you want to see him? I'm going to do his nights. He's doing nice. my favorite, I think. <laughs> and he says that sometimes people are just scared to tell the truth. Maybe they need a little help. I need tricks to come through. That's a bad idea. Helping people tell the truth is kind of my thing. <laughs> she didn't take it the wrong way. All she has to do is threaten Linda a little bit, and Linda will be like, ah, okay. No, she'll have to just, like, bait him into it, like, see how long they're willing to lie about it. Yeah. Detective Decker, LAPD. I'd like to ask you all some... Freeze! It's always so weird when people Freeze, just take off on. running immediately. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, I'm a man. And I'm the manager. What's going on? Well, what's going on, Ashley, is you need to give me that book. And I'll show you the true meaning of you scream for ice cream. <laughs> I like when he gets a little pissed. It's a flavor I created, special for Kathleen. I brought it to her house personally. Do you always bring ice cream to your murder victims? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, he just calls them out. Wait. Yeah, but when Kathleen read my version, she decided she wanted to go in a different direction. But she said it did help her finish her book on her own, so... Boom. <laughs> <laughs> what an ass. So the characters in Kathleen's books are based on real people. And mm. all of her stories were taken from her real life at West Shanghai, right here in L.A. Somebody didn't like their portrayal. Isabel, she didn't sure. change any of the first names. Uh, I think Charlotte, uh, Miss Richards, is right. If, uh, <laughs> oh, damn, he's so awkward. Announcing another book. Todd was the only one with zero social media presence. Lucifer, you could go as Todd. Yeah, no, no, seriously, look, it looks just <laughs> like you. All that masturbation finally caught up with your eyesight, Daniel. No one will believe it. Oh, poops, hold up. Todd RSVP'd, yes. Charlotte, is there anything... <laughs> I was like, oh, poops. <laughs> Shoot, I think I'm busy. Let me do this. Tomorrow it is. Jesus, Linda, you're really digging yourself deeper. Extra deep now. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah, just admit it. Mom? <laughs> and she's on junior year, so she already read the first two. It's morning. Where's the. <laughs> Been there. I'm watching TV, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh shit, it's bright out. <laughs> Now she's like super into it. Yeah, she's never been to one. But she's also like, just like out of the books is probably what she's picturing. Oh yeah. yeah. The books are much deeper than you'd imagine. The characters are so compelling and relatable. Yeah, because that's why she rich. likes it. Yeah. She never got to have it. She never got to do any of this high school poppycock, you know? Yep. It's obviously him that's going to say it. He would be the only person to say poppycock. And she's excited because, 
like she's meeting the real character, like yeah. the real people, you know. Right. What if you were my blind date? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Unless she knows about us and is trying to make a squirm. Yeah. <laughs> torture is her thing. Linda. This is Todd. Your date. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny that they actually brought him there. <laughs> yeah, remember? That's what she no, was bounty on him. That's why I'm saying it's funny. Isn't this great? <laughs> uh, she's really going to get on the squirm. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like when a man deals uncomfortable. He's hilarious. Yeah. You're so funny and so hot. <laughs> I love what every goes, single girl he talks no. to. The books are about you, correct? Oh, so do you know what happens in the new book? Oh, you don't have. I wet the bed. <laughs> Oh my god. This is getting out of control. We just have to get through tonight. We can do it. Oh, no way. Who is that? Uh, We're talking. And what do you care? You cheated on Max with his <laughs> He's like totally <laughs> into this story. That was 15 years ago. I'm not really down for a four way. Make that five. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm not down either. <laughs> oh. He was an awesome math tutor. Now he helps me with my taxes. Detective. I think I'm the killer. Good thing Maze has him. I didn't even get to go to my own prom. It's ridiculous, I know. No, it's not. Mm. You gotta throw her prom. And that's the best way to clean out That'd the house. That would be great. Too. Well, does this make you uncomfortable, too? <laughs> Maze, Maze, why are you acting like this? Because she knows. Obviously. You know. Of course we lied, Maze. Look at you. You have a tendency to overreact. I do not <laughs> overreact. That what Amenadiel and I found was completely unexpected. But what a hundred percent real. I had a feeling it was gonna come down to that, like something like that where she has to she's gonna see that maybe it is real. Yeah, this is tough to, you can't really take take sides in this one. They shouldn't have hit it. I agree with Maze. Like, I agree with, weapons. like, obviously Linda, like, cares about him, you know what I mean? But they should have been up front about it. Oh, of course. That's the only thing they did wrong. Hi, uh, Detective Decker, LAPD. Detective, not gonna help you. Um, I was just wondering, did Kathleen ever talk to you This was the first guy I talked to, right? With the ghostwriter? It's the editor. Ghostwriter? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but it's Lucifer. Hello, Vincent. <laughs> oh. I needed to read the afterwords so I could fix my problem and then say it's gone. Lucifer, back off. <laughs> what did he say? That doesn't help me at all. Lucifer, stop. Now I'm never going to figure out how to... I knew what we were doing was going to hurt her, and I did it anyway. Mm -hmm. That's how much I wanted to be with you, Amenity. I feel like if you're gonna commit that hard, you might as well go. Yeah. I can't be with you anymore. Not when it does this to her. He takes information in so well. Yeah. <laughs> he never like. He's been around for her all the time, pretty much. Yeah. That's what he's best at. Mm, yep. I don't expect you. So I guess this is it. I guess so. I don't buy it. <laughs> There's too much there for them to just cut it off like that. I like being the responsible adult. Right. So you, you gotta no accept each other for each other. That high school puppy cup. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> no. You won't be wanting this. Oh boy. I told you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You nailed it. <laughs> He's throwing her a prom. <laughs> this is the greatest thing ever. Yeah. I was so excited that that actually happened. Right. Will you go to the prom with me? <laughs> he really this is the <laughs> he nails it he really nails it you have to it's just so frustrating you never been able to go to one you have to bring it to one Let's he messes one up one. so many times but then he pulls shit off like this and it's like god damn it would you guys just make out already <laughs> I think they're definitely going to it's a prom she's got to have the, yeah, have the dance floor kiss <laughs> found that inspiration that you were looking for. Are you ever gonna tell me what it is you're She's the inspiration. Say? It's just like Kathleen realized. We can't rewrite history. She's gonna help him. <laughs> you can't. 
But maybe I can detect if you're a genius. <laughs> All I need to do is go back and undo the reason it exists in the first place. How's he gonna go back in time? I have no idea. Didn't doesn't mom have the dagger with her? Yeah, he threw it in. Cool, Jerry. So he can't even like do anything with that. No, that wasn't that wasn't a bad spot to end it. No, I was just really enjoying <laughs> that moment. You wanted the smooch. Right I know. Now. I wanted that moment to last longer than it did. <laughs> No, that was incredible. It will, because that was probably the sweetest thing that anybody's ever done for. 100% So, is. like, that's good news. I, 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 what do you think he meant by that? How is he going to go back? I think, maybe, I don't know. Because what is he actually, like, talking about? Like, his, what what's his problem? Is, or he's talking about just going back to never get into his writer's block. Is that what? No, 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 thing? about Kane. He doesn't have a writer's block. No, I know, but I'm using that as a reference. Oh, like, yeah. Like, to figure out, like, what, like, he's stuck with Kane. He's stuck so, like, because he has no idea. Everything, every way he's tried to kill him, Kane's already tried. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah. like, back in, how could he possibly go back and remove the mark? Like, that, that, that's, yeah, I'm assuming that's that, what he's talking that's about. That's what he said, yeah. Uh, she, she said, you can't rewrite history. He said, you can't. I could go back and like stop the event from happening or something like that yeah hmm so the only way to do it would go all the way back to stop Kane from killing Abel that's what I, that's what it seems like he's referencing and how the hell do you do that I'm sure there's something else there not that we're supposed to know but they're, they're, we're supposed to be confused about it you know and he'll, it'll be something like obvious like it doesn't literally mean go back in time he'll be doing something you know but I think it's just maybe the way he worded it. Unless there, it's either that or... Or he's going to reincarnate. Or he's going to... Somehow go back in time. I don't get know. get Abel to be alive. That would be cool. Maybe Abel's in hell? Why would he be in hell, though? Shouldn't be. No. Like, I don't know if, like, time travel is a thing you can do when you have your wings, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it works. That would be wild. Right. That's the only thing I can... I'm trying to think of how he could possibly do it. It has to, It would have to be something angelic because... How else would he... You know? I mean, it, it's not out of the realm of possibilities. Amenadiel can slow time down. Right. So maybe he knows somebody. Well, maybe plus, one of the angels can reverse time. Once they leave Earth, it's like... They're leaving like time and everything, you know? They don't have to leave Earth. No, I'm saying. But when they do whether they're going to hell or to heaven. Like, once they're out there in one of those places, yeah, you're... There is no time. They're, exactly. Right. But yeah, it could, maybe this maybe is where we meet one of the other angels. And maybe they can control... Maybe they can reverse time. But I doubt they, they would help him with that unless somebody and I don't, was and I don't, I don't think they would bring in a character like that. Just for that? Just towards the end of the... Either just for that or just to introduce the, towards the end of a season. Yeah, you know? but there's still really... Eight more episodes. I know, but consider considering we're sixteen in, you know. True. We're more than halfway through. I can't see what else it would be though. I know that's why it's confusing. Yeah. And I don't know. I still think Linda and Amanda Dealer are going to end up. There was too much there, like I said. I was thinking. I don't think they are because I think Amanda Deal's speaking the truth. Like I think, like May's got to him. Like. That's not the path he's supposed to be going on. It's like, but maybe it is. I mean, that's I all we have Determined that his path was to yeah, but you know, he's always, in a, he's always getting shit wrong. The two of them, they always are. But when he was helping him, he was able to. Yeah, I don't know. Because really, he was able to slow down time to save Linda. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's got to mean something. Right. More than I forgot well, about that. It's either that or it's just the fact that. He say God likes that he's saving one of his humans, you know? Good man. For a good reason. But I think she's a part... We can consider, like, all of these main characters as parts of... If you want to say, parts of his plan. Yeah. And they're all supposed to be in, involved in... That's, like This shit with Maze and Linda and Emmanuel is supposed to be happening, you know? That's one way to look at it, yeah. I want, That's what I wonder, if, they're gonna, if that's where the show's going to go, like... Is God eventually going to show up, say, either next season or the season after, and then 
lay out what like are we gonna get like an explanation of it all or is it gonna be left up to I history? doubt it that'd be wild and when I say what like I'm talking about like why was like what Chloe's why, plan why was? did he have a mana deal yeah. give the ability Less for Chloe. yeah yeah true why did all that why did he do all that I have to assume he did it for a reason but maybe we'll find out he didn't yeah, I think Kane might also be like he's gonna have to maybe try to win God over. You know what I mean? Like do something big to. Yeah, well, specifically about his storyline, it's got to be either Lucifer does figure it out. Well, then it goes to this. Then again, either Lucifer, if he, even if he figures it out, he could just think, "Well, God want me to do that." You know? Yeah, true. But then at the same time, it's either gonna be that or. Kane does have to do something. Do something like, for, pretty extraordinary. And maybe he'll, he'll, just, he'll just get shot and actually die. Yeah, right. That's why I'm thinking Lucifer could end up being right. Like, this is his way out. Like, it's Caring kind of, for people. Yeah. I think I think that is what it is. He wants to just change who he is. Like, he killed his own brother. Like, you know what I mean? You need to and learn been, to respect him. He's people. so hard from living for so long. Yeah. So, like, I can imagine. And he specifically said he doesn't... It's hard not to get attached, but... Like he often he just doesn't, yeah. It seems like any for a long time, you know. Yeah, something must have happened to him where he was getting attached back. Like, earlier. well, he probably realized early on that shit, I'm here forever. They're gonna die. True. So I can only imagine that would suck. That's true. I don't blame him. Yeah, but then at the same point, like that's why it is torture because if you can't die, so right? Like you, you don't, and then you have no way of figuring it out, right? And not only you're going so crazy like to try and kill yourself, and it hurts like hell every time, but. You do it. Your limbs grow back. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you can't do anything. Even his tattoo got grown over. I know. The skin just keeps it regenerating. It's yeah, wild. it's crazy. I'm glad they, like, gave a specific reason for that. Because <laughs> I was wondering. I don't know. Anyway, guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you next time. See you later.